We're going to start off with about a three ounce piece of fresh Icelandic cod. As a chef, when we saw the other day fishing, the, the ideal way to buy or purchase a cod is to get it whole. That way we always can tell how red the gills are, how clear the eyes are, if they're not sunken in, if they're bulging and, and real vibrant like it's been in the water recently, if the, f the, the flesh feels nice and firm and not spongy and soft. And the number one is, is the smell. I mean, fish should not smell fishy. Uh, so that's the key. So obviously this is a fresh piece of cod. You can tell how translucent it is. Uh, uh, older cod becomes more of a smoky white or opaque look to it. This is real clear and translucent. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of the Malden sea salt and we're going to do both sides of the fish. And for this, because it's a nice white flaky fish, I'm going to do a little bit of white pepper instead of the dark pepper. I'm going to take this mixture of a mayonnaise, mustard, fresh grated horseradish, not the prepared kind, but the fresh grated horseradish, and lemon juice. And I'm going to take this and put a liberal amount and spread it on top of the cod here. Cod is such a flaky, tender fish that you really have to be careful when you handle it. Sometimes it has a tendency to really fall apart and stuff. By this method, with the crest on top, it sort of keeps the integrity of the, of the dish together. Plus, it adds a nice contrast and texture. Then I'm going to take that side that I put that mixture on it. I'm going to put it flat into the breadcrumbs. Come up like that. And I'm going to take a, uh, a little lightly oiled dish like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to drizzle that on top of the fish. And then I'm gonna put this in a broiler. And so it's gonna cook it from the top so it'll have to help brown these breadcrumbs. And then for the butter sauce, uh, it's a classic beurre blanc or white butter sauce. Uh, it's um, a reduction of white wine and shallots so it's almost dry. Then I add a little bit of cream to reduce that down. Then I just whisk in the Icelandic butter. I'm gonna take what I think I need for this portion and add, I would say about, you know, three or four ounces maybe. And I took fresh dill and blanched it very quickly and salted the water, more than water. Then I shocked it in ice water. Then I wrung the water out of it, so just the, sort of that the shock dill. And then I put it into a blender and I pureed it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and add this dill puree to the sauce. Our cod's almost ready. We're gonna get a plate here. We'll get our trout roe. You can also use uh, also salmon roe here. This is a local product from the fresh glacier fed stream lakes here. We're gonna put a little bit of the potato puree in the middle of the plate. And then we're going to take a little bit of the um, dill for blanc. We're gonna garnish this with a little bit of the trout eggs. Little pockets of salty snap around the plate. Let's go check the cod, I believe it's ready. It's been in the broiler for probably about three and a half to four minutes. And it's gonna have a nice crust on it, you have that nice mixture of horseradish and mustard and mayonnaise that, that sort of adheres the breadcrumbs on top. So we're going to put it on top of the potato puree and then we're going to reinforce our dill with a nice sprig of, of dill garnish. And there you have um, horseradish crusted Icelandic cod with a potato puree, dill butter and a little bit of uh, trout caviar.